The spy satellites show it, Mr. Breen. They show no war. Then what good are they if they show no war? I mean, what are we spending a quarter trillion dollars a year on the Defense Department? What good are they if they show nothing? And what, are they useless or they just broke or what? Ah. Grace! Do not take any action until everything is over. There's no threat to murder you. Let me go you one more. There's no threat. What good are you? To bring you are the threat. I'm the threat. I am the threat. Marina! You stay there! Let me suggest that they are one and the same. Your country and your job. I'm doing my job, Mr. Green. That's what you see me doing. I'm doing my job. This is what we're doing. I'm doing my job, too. And let me ask you something. That time is past. It's over. The war of the future is nuclear terrorism. It is going to be against a small group of dissidents who, unbeknownst perhaps to their own governments, have blah, 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 blah. And to go to that war, you have to be prepared. You've got to be alert. The public has got to be alert because that is the war of the future. And if you're not gearing up to fight that war, then eventually the axe will fall and you're going to be out in the street. And you can call this a drill. You can call this job security. You can call it anything you like. But I got one for you. You said go to preserve your way of life. Chuck, this, this, your way of life. Whomever refuses to follow Islam have only two choices. Take extortion or die. Let us take the other treasure. Cut off his arms and his legs. And if your spy satellites don't see nothing, if there ain't no war, then you can go home and prematurely take off golf, my friend. Because there ain't no war but ours. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. What do we learn, Palmer? I don't know, sir. I don't fucking know either. I guess we learned not to do it again. Yes, sir. I'm fucked if I know what we do. Yes, sir. It's uh, hard to say. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs>